Welcome 3D students. In this video we're going to create a skull for Halloween. It's not going to be a very detailed skull, it's going to be simple and kind of stylized. And it's based on a tutorial I found here on this channel, MS3D. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is create a cube. I'm going to go to the Modify tab. I'm going to expand my viewports by hitting Alt-W. Turn on Edged Faces and then let's select the move tool so that we can center this cube in the world and we're going to do that by right clicking on each spinner for the x y and z coordinates now this is not a cube yet until we make it a cube let's make it uh, 35 by 35 by 35 and we're going to use this cube to create our skull now it would be a lot easier if it was round instead of square so let's use a modifier here called spherify and Spherify does exactly what you think it will do. It takes a box and it makes a sphere out of it. But that doesn't look very much like a sphere. That's because, as with every modifier, it needs some edges and vertices around which to deform. So let's give it th three length segments, three width segments, and three height segments. And you can see very clearly that now it looks very much like a sphere. And you can almost see a face here. In fact, a lot of people, when they do heads and faces, they'll start with either a spherified cube or a smoothed cube, just like this. So the next thing we want to do is add an Edit Poly modifier to the stack. And we're going to go to Edge Mode, but our Spherify modifier went away. So let's take our Edit Poly modifier and put it to the top of the stack. And you can see that now it doesn't go away. So the order of these things does matter. So we need to split this in half. And we need to select all of these parallel edges here around the cube in the center. So what I want to do is click one, and then I'm going to hold down Control and double click on the next one. And that selects that whole ring. And now let's use our modeling tools to put an edge right in the center here. Let's right click, bring up the quad menu, and we're going to select Connect and that should put an edge straight down the center. Now the reason we need to do this is because we're going to delete half of this and we're going to let the computer create the other half while we're working on just one half. So let's go to polygon mode and let's drag a selection box just like this just touch those polygons then let's rotate our view around the sphere to make sure we didn't select anything we didn't mean to and we're going to hit delete on the keyboard. Now this is one of the reasons we centered this uh, object in 3D space because these modifiers work a lot better when they're centered. In fact when you model a character of any kind you should have it centered in 3D space. It just makes a lot of things easier when you're working on it. Okay after we've done that it's best to just permanently apply these uh, modifiers here so let's right click and convert this to an editable poly. And the next thing we're going to do is add a new modifier called Symmetry. So click on the modifier list, and type in SY, and select Symmetry. Now if it disappears like that, then just click the Flip checkbox. And now when we go down to the editable poly level here, you'll see it disappears. All we need to do is check this button here, Show in Result. And anything we do to the orange half will carry over to the copied half. You can also change the color of this orange cage here if you want to. I don't usually like it very much. If you scroll down here in the uh, editable poly settings, you'll see here the uh, cage settings. And if you click this little swatch here, you can change that to another color if you choose. And you can also change the color here of any selected edges to a more convenient color. So for example, if I switch to edge mode and select an edge, you can see now it's red instead of yellow. Okay, so we're now done with the setup of this, and when we come back, we will begin to construct the eyes and the face. And I'll see you then.